Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hold on, let me set everything up. I can't find my own stream to link it. Give me a sec. Uh, once more, we return. How are you, Mr. Monster Garden? Uh, just call me Simon. Uh, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How's everybody else doing? I actually can't remember if I just asked that or not. Stream notification. Okay. So, how's everybody doing? Hmm? Well, me, I'm reading everybody's response, by the way. Uh, hello to everybody. Hello, True Omen. Doing well, doing good. Me, I. Hey, Stan! How's it going? Raccoon makes trash. This is my first time being here. Well, welcome, Raccoon makes trash. Uh, I hope you have a good time in the stream. Everybody say hello to Stan. Stan's the writer. He's my writer. Helping me big time with the book. Yeah. What you drawing? Hello, Ong. Uh, but yeah. Well, what we're drawing today is, I don't want to finish this scene. Uh, I just have it on screen because that's the last thing I was doing. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to have some fun just sketching a bunch. Uh, we're just going to be drawing lots of different scenes depicting uh, people in different situations in the war or uh, mages, stuff like that. So just a bunch of sketching, you know? Uh, I want to try and cover as many bases as I can. That's a big gun? Oh, yeah. We we designed it last stream. Last stream. Um, and, and it turned out really good, I think. I'm really happy with it. It's such a cool, over-the-top, big-ass gun. Okay, uh, give me just a sec, because I got to pull you guys up on my phone so i gotta oh whoops i just punched you in the face goodness are you all right so sorry just punched you in the face um but yeah i gotta pull up the stream so i can actually see what you guys are typing while i'm trying there you go hey man love your work and world building thank you l um greatest creature designs i've seen that's some of the greatest creature design I've seen? Well, th th these creatures, you call them, are people. That punch hurt. I'm sorry. Um, no, no gunpowder at all. This is actually a mage casting a spell. Uh, so it's only accelerated by the magic. No gunpowder. Just finger power. Um, I also, like, worked on the hand a little bit. Sadly, because of the uh, the positioning of the hand and stuff like that, I can't really show the um, the loose fingertips much. So the only one you can see it on is the pinky finger that's sort of flopping, and also another finger that's like a tiny bit flopping. Uh, but trust me when I say the the skin's loose on them fingers. Uh, I I took some time to look up some more references of degloving's um off stream and got to tell you I found some I found some real juicy ones that hand's so damn messed up yeah I, i'd say it's it's all right but yeah i'm glad i i like how the thumb is looking like how it's sort of pushed down on the end of the barrel that's really neat oh uh thank you for the dude $2 lecky also hello lecky welcome back uh ice magic would be cool oh my God. yes i know 
I know, but ice magic isn't gonna be a thing uh, anytime soon, I don't think. At the moment, I still can't figure out a way to make it fit. Uh, maybe eventually, but not now. Is it canon that the... Th no, no, the, the thumb has the thimble on it, so you wouldn't notice if the skin's flabby or not. Luckily. Don't want that. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get right into sketching then, I guess. Um, first image that I sort of had an idea for... Hold on, I should probably... Uh, put all of these on a group. So I don't lose them. Control G... And then just name the group. Acceleration. There you go. Okay. Uh, so first thing that I thought of drawing... Magic gun or gun gun? Gun gun. Uh, first thing I thought of drawing was a healing mage. I wanted to draw a scene with a healing mage, because it's sort of, um, I mean, that would just be cool. Uh, there are healing mages both from Ram and Verus. So, oh, shit. Uh, Lizard King, thank you for the 100 nook. I wish I knew what nook is, but thank you for 100 of them. Uh, hey, I wonder uh, if you ever thought about having mages that can sort of explode themselves, sort of like suicide nuke mages. I mean, you could. There, if, if you reach maximum saturation uh, in your blood, like the, the amount of mana, you just explode. But it wouldn't really be worth it, you know? Like, I, theoretically, yes, you could just explode a mage and just have them kill themselves and take some people with them, but th that wouldn't be worth it, you know? You just lose a mage that could have otherwise been able to do other things. Uh, but yeah, wh what was I going to say? Uh, right, we were going to do a healer. So, okay, uh, this guy, right, that guy is Verushan, right? You can tell because this guy has uh, Verushan helmet and and uh these guys got the socks which is which is like a verushan thing um do we want a a rom healing mage just to balance it out uh real comment though have you seen amazing digital circus thank you lucky for the uh two dollars um yes yes i have seen amazing digital circus uh I mean, it is insanely popular and blew up on the internet, so it'd be strange if I didn't see it, especially as an artist. Um, it, it is honestly very impressive. Uh, tech, uh, from the technical side of things, you know? Because it's impressive that such a small group of people can actually do that through like YouTube. It's really cool. But yeah, I, I'll have to wait and see for future episodes because um, even though I find it very impressive, it is I, I doubt it's not really my style of, of show yet, uh, but we'll have to see. I, I'm still keeping, keeping my mind open. A uh, ROM healer with the pig. Gotta show off the pigs. Mm, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to fit the pigs and the ROM healer into the image. Uh, so we're gonna go, like, really rough, pretty much. Because um, we're just... Gonna try and see what we can come up with. Uh, also, I haven't thought of how the healer uniform would look like. Bonky McNoggins, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the $10. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome. The 
Uh, the silent patron is back. Not so silent anymore, but still silent patron. It's bonky. Yes, it is. It is bonky. Plague Doctor-ish? Uh, yeah, I, I was sort of thinking Plague Doctor-ish. Um, hold on, okay. Uh, you know what we should be doing? I should be looking up some references. Uh, because even though we can make them wear whatever we want, um, it'd be best if we try to get some essential bits from actually existing, uh, healers and see oh you know what would be cool just before i look up references have it be red have the guy be red to um blend in with the blood i, I don't think Varus would do that but i feel like rom would totally do that rom would totally be like just have him wear red at that point you know but uh Let's see. Military medic. Uniform. Huh, not much change. It's sort of just like an arm thing with a plus on it. Is Rom more efficient like that? I'd say they're more efficient. Uh, they care less about appearances, but I think even though they care less about appearances, the red makes sense. So they it's not red for the sake of appearance. I'd say it's red for the sake of making the soldiers believe that the uh, medics are clean. Uh, even though they aren't. Um, Varus would, like, probably have, like, nicer medic outfits. To make the blood more noticeable? Yeah, I, I doubt they'd care about that care about contamination or sh sh that sort of stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm looking up old nurse outfit and I'm Immediately, this image is, is catching my attention, which is interesting. Uh, that. The, that headdress. I like that, actually. It's interesting. Um, feels more like a Varushan thing, because their, hat, uh, their hats are already, like, really broad, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. This also seems like a Verushan thing. With the poofy arms. Damn it. Well, well, we'll just... take these just in case. I like the apron, though. That's interesting. Because then we can have the apron be red. And then just have the gambeson underneath, perhaps. Um, let's see. Ooh. Okay, also doctor's uniforms. Old.
I like the sort of tiny holes in their faces or only like the eyes and nose sticking out. That's neat. That could be interesting. Um, obviously Plague Doctor, but honestly, I, I don't want to go with Plague Doctor for ROM. Uh, instead of Red Cross, uh, have them use the world's church uh, s sign. Yeah, that would make more sense as well. Uh, I sent some tool belts, pack references I found. Oh, thank you. Um, your view on AI place in art? Uh, I don't have one. I, I couldn't care less. I, I don't like stressing about big things, you know, I just do my thing. I'll just draw anyway. Like, whatever happens, I'll be drawn anyway. Like, so, we'll just go with the flow, see what co goes on. <laughs> Uh, what about pigeon skulls if it were a plague doctor that'd just be a shorter plague doctor mask wouldn't it I mean okay so hold on hold on I, I do think some influence of plague doctor would make sense though because um, they do believe in um, miasma um if if so, if anybody doesn't know what miasma is, miasma theory was basically like a really long running thing that people believed, um, for good reasons. Uh, basically, miasma theory was uh, a part of germ theory, where back in the day, like way long ago, um, people believed that bad smells, bad air carried disease, right? So like being around dead things, dead bodies. Uh, or like still water, things that smell bad means that those carry a disease. And the reason it was around for so long was not only just because they didn't have the technology to actually figure out what was the actual cause of disease, but also just because, well, it, it sort of made sense, you know, until they figured out the actual cause. It's like, well, yeah, people that did stick around s sick people did get sick. Like if you were around a friend, you'd you do get sick if you were around still water and like a, a bogs and shit like that. You can get parasites and get sick as well and stuff like that. Uh, or, or they have like insects and shit. So like it makes sense. But but then later on, you know, they finally get like uh, it, it starts getting updated and like replaced with with more true theories or more accurate, let's say. They weren't entirely wrong seems right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but then as, like, they, they started learning more about, like, um, at, what was the... It wasn't germs at first. It was animal... Animal... Something... Animal cules. Animal cules. That, that, what, that was it. That's what they called them. As they, like, started learning more about it, the miasma theory sort of didn't fit anymore. I mean, they updated it, of course, but then it just didn't fit enough, and they just replace it with something else um what about some nice glass bottles on the belt also mm, i glass bottles on the belt is like too fantasy i like it more when it's like actually in pouches and stuff like that like exposed glass bottles don't make sense to me you'll just accidentally bump into something and break the bottles so a little pouch with a bottle in it is a lot nicer um but bloodletting was fun yeah yeah so uh, miasma Bloodletting, uh, the four, the the four humors or or liquids, you know, uh, bile, blood, uh, those ones, 
I, I forgot what the other ones were. Uh, those can, like, all coexist, sort of, pretty much. There was also one, like, okay, uh, there was one where Miasma was also connected with the four, uh, blood things, because they believed if it was, like, bad air, or, 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 like, bad smell, or, uh, bad temperatures, uh, it would, uh, unbalance your your four liquids so it would fuck with your your four liquids and cause you to become sick phlegm black bile yellow bile and blood yeah thank you uh blood phlegm black bile Yellow bile. Uh, love your art so much. Any tips? What? Tips for what? For the art? Uh, you mean like ask ask me how to get better at art or something? Don't don't ask me how to get better at art. By the way, if that's the case, don't. I'm not the right person to ask for that. I don't even know how I got better at art. Hey. Oh. Uh, there you go. There's the more context. Hey there, I'm a freelance artist and have been uh, worried about AI for a while. Recently, my constant uh, source of income of D&D &D uh, character are almost completely disappeared. Everyone is using A art. Uh, I feel lost. Oh, shit. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't help you with that. I don't do, like, I, I'm not... I've done a lot of commissions, but, like, I've definitely not done enough to be able to, like, give good advice for that, so... Sorry. Bone saws, I think, yeah. Uh, bone saws and... Um, what are the, the leg braces? Braces. Uh, bloodletting would mean leeches. So bloodletting can also connect to the four uh, humors because, you know, you're you're balancing out the humors by by letting out the the excess ones which aren't actually excess, but you can believe that. Um scalpels? Oh, scalpels. Well, yeah, cutting tools, any sort of cutting tools. Uh bone saws. Uh, cutting tools. There was a crazy tool invented to extract an arrow from a skull of a king. Not sure what it's called, but it's kind of like uh, pliers. Oh, was it the thing that was like these, like these pliers that were like this? I I don't remember, but I I, I know which one you're talking about. I don't think I remember it though. You just sort of, like, shove them in the hole and then try to yank it and fucking <laughs> just get it out. But yeah, hold on. Um, so, yeah, because uh, the reason I'm talking about, like, what kind of beliefs they have in medicine is because, obviously, it would affect the look of the, um, the, look of the mages or, or the uh, healers. So I, I'm thinking some sort of thing to help against miasma is going to be good. I don't want it to look like a plague doctor, though, or not too much like one. Um, so some sort of gas mask or something like that would be uh, probably expected. But then, like, instead of having, like, a beak, having, like, a long tube like this instead with, like, a filter at the end, more like an elephant might be interesting. We could tie it in with, like, the, the big... Uh, like headdress of that and basically just make them elephants if we want to don't know why but it'd be interesting elephants are wise right so like the snoot the face donger yes like something weird you know or a tapir yeah like a like a long snout would work, but not a not a okay. Uh, let me look up some more old doctors though.
like a beetle thing? No, I, I don't think... Oh, you know what? Actually, actually. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. We have, we have the healing bugs, right? And the healing bugs are sort of shaped like little angels, right? The healing bugs look like this. Um, they're like this, and then they got the that, and then they got the that. Right? So they're like little little cherubs, pretty much. So if we have the healing mage emulate that shape, it might make sense, actually. Uh, because, well, the bugs, the healing bugs that actually heal people, like, also have that shape. So them emulating it would make sense. They heal you, basically. Um, healing bugs, like, nibble away dead skin and then heal it over. It's like a weird symbiotic relationship. They they hover around a lot of different animals to, like, pick off dead skin and basically heal them as payment, like wounds and stuff like that, close them up. Um, mostly, they are found around uh, animals that have uh, that have disintegration magic. Um, animals that have disintegration magic are like digging animals. Um, some some digging animals have disintegration magic, and the side effect of disintegration magic is that their skin like sheds and peels quite a lot, the same way that um, people that use disintegration magic peels off. Um, so the bugs obviously have a lot to fix and a lot to eat, so it's very desirable for them to hang around those kinds of creatures. So basically land fish. Yeah, yeah, like those fish. I thought it was terraforming. Well, terraforming is the larger word for it, but what you're doing pretty much is just changing the shape of dirt or disintegrating it. So it's it's within terraforming. You're using, uh, a part of it is using disintegration. So how could we use that shape as inspiration? I mean, it could be that their symbol is this, which is kind of cute. Uh, yeah, we could have it so, like, okay, their head is here, and then their clothing goes like this, but that seems too much like a cosplay thing, um, maybe. So what if it's, like, under their arms, like, fucking... Seems a little too campy. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just trying to play around with ideas. Um, if they literally have, like, a crown on their head and fucking... Uh... Hmm. Maybe let's not get settled into, like, trying to make them look like the bugs too much yet. So, let's see. Let me look for some more references. Oh, this is great. This is like the precursor to the nice-looking uh, Plague Doctor masks. That's actually perfect. Just something really wrong-looking. It doesn't look nice at all, but that's perfect for what we need. Note, note. Oh, oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. That's a schnoz right there. Uh, 
Um, it's so ugly. I love it. Yeah, that's perfect. It's ugly. God, look at the forehead on that one. Damn. Goodness gracious. My eyes are down here, he says. <laughs> that's where his nose is. Why adjust the mask? It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Oh my god, I found an even better one. Or I mean, up to you if you want to think it's better. But like, oh that's cool though. That's cool. It's freaky. Holy shit, Bonky McNoggins, $50? Fucking calm down, man. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ. I can buy so many hot dogs with that. I, that's the first thing that came to mind. Uh, flip, flip fingers. Thank you for the two euros. Goodness gracious. I can also buy hot dogs with that. A uh, list of injury types may uh, help how docs look and treat. I mean, any sort of injury types that are to be expected from a war are there. Um, but yeah, thank you for the, the funding. Saying money sounds wrong. Is that just me? Yeah, thank you for the money. The money. Uh, mm. For the funding. Appreciate it. Harry the Platypus. I also found this, which is really creepy. It's it is like a plague doctor, but why is it its eye holes so beady? Okay, Mr. Krabs, calm down. <laughs> money, money. That's supposed to be him, like, walking away. First one was the best. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me... Oh, I like how the eyes, like, extrude. Hold on. Where, where's that one? Let me continue searching for that one. Um, how long should the nose be? I don't know yet. I've not decided. We're gonna figure that out. Okay, I think that's enough references for the head. Um, let's see... So I, I I do think like a long uh apron like that sort of shape would be good. And like the cinched waist is actually good. Uh but I don't want it to like go in like this like a corset. I want it more like it goes out like that and then comes back together. Um and it's going to be sort of at like belly button level. Um, that. and then Um, have you ever seen any works by the painter? I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Bosch? Uh, no idea. I, I think 
Is Bosh a famous one? Is, is that one of the famous ones? Make this healer Bonky McNoggins. How do I make Bonky McNoggins a healer? Uh, Cartoon of Milk. Thank you for the 35 czar. Appreciate it. Suggestion. Some sort of otter-like creature that is domesticated to hunt rats in the trenches and is a sort of companion to the soldiers. Huh. I haven't considered having a creature that hunts the rats in the trenches. Actually seems like a good idea now that you mention it. Hmm. I'll consider it. I don't think an otter would be a good pick, though, for that. I'll, I'll see what I can think of. So a cat? Yeah, pretty much a cat, I guess. Uh, gloves would be good, too. And then... I mean, should the mask be over everything? By the way, this is a normal proportioned guy for now. Oh, well, my phone is blocking it. I mean, he's fucking gorilla arms right now, but we're fine, okay? Uh, proportions are not the important part. We're just trying to get the uh, concept going. This looks like a serial killer. Like, that does not... Like, as soon as... That does not look like a medic. That guy looks like he's gonna sleep paralysis demon come into your fucking dreams and kill you. Make the nose droopy. No, I think I like this one where it's like sort of... Uh... I can't find a better word, so I apologize. Erect? It's a little, you know. Flaccid nose. No, no. No, we, we, we keeping it erect. Why? I told you I couldn't think of a better word. Filter at the end of the mess. I'm thinking, like, okay, are we doing filter here <laughs> or filter here and we can then sort of like lead it to uh this sort of filter well then that wouldn't really make sense because this would be a filter to take in air so like why have the nose right so that wouldn't really make sense Give him ears. What about dog ears? Oh my... <laughs> this is a serial killer. This guy's... Go <laughs> Those? No. <laughs> a furry! Ah! <laughs> it's a furry in the trenches! I, the ears make it, like, why would it have ears, though? That's what I'm thinking, is like, why ears? If we have a reason for ears, then cat ears. <laughs> Makes them a lot better, doesn't he? Whiskers. It's a rat. The rat. Ears look too silly. Yeah, I think the ears look a little too silly. Though, I, I like it, but it's just like... Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is with the ears? I'm picturing a scenario where it's like they had to have one of these guys go into like a children's hospital quarter in one of the bunker cities, but the children were scared of him. So they were like, you know what? 
but you put ears on it so it looks like an elephant. That would that that'll fix it. And then they did this. That would be like a reason to have that, which actually would be a great reason to have that. Ears to make him friendly, yeah. So, like, picture a war medic going into a children's hospital sector just to, to cure the kids, but then he's called to the war so he doesn't have time <laughs> to remove them, and he's like, ah, fuck it. The soldiers will like the elephant, too. Yeah, and then some sort of, uh, like, the, uh, healing symbol if we're gonna have that be the symbol but yeah i i feel like i want to incorporate gas masks somehow but it's just not gonna it's really good already isn't it like that's the issue what if we have that box around no just that pretty much like with the right texturing and stuff that's already, like, so good. That's annoying, though, because, like, we just took the mask that already exists. It's not like we invented anything new. Thank you for the $5, Bonky McNoggins. Goodness gracious, you're spoiling me. And also, thank you for the other $5 you gave me before this that I didn't say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bonky McNoggins, literally, you're, you're keeping me alive and well-fed. <laughs> you, by yourself, are, are fucking... Feeding my whole family. <laughs> uh, what about mosquito it? Thin it out. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Let's let's try that. Let's let's mosquito it out. It, it would definitely droop more. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, what are we thinking? I say interesting. A gnome hat is the <laughs> even thinner, maybe. Wait, hold on, hold on. Thank you for the ten dollars. Food must consume more food. I'm gonna be obese if you keep donating to me like this. I don't have any self control uh, to prevent myself from buying just food with that. But yes, thank you very much. Jesus Christ. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna make multiple versions of this so that we can compare them and then, like, vote on our favorite one. Because the thing is, it, it's very annoying that this design is already pretty much really good. Um, which means I don't have much to change in the design. Hold on. Okay, so like that... That's so... Maybe too long? Is that too long? The schlong. I mean, it's freaky somehow, though. Big old hanging. Big drooper. Uh, thank you for the 50 nook, by the way. The chat's going by so quickly. I keep missing things just by looking at my drawing. Um, this might be a dumb question. Oh, uh, Lizard King, thank you for the 50 nook. Uh, this might be a dumb question, but are there any laws against shooting medics, healing mages in your world? Sort of like World War II. Nah. <laughs> nah. There aren't. So uh, you can... When you see a medic with, with this sort of nose walk by you, start blasting right away. <laughs> no need to hesitate. Okay, hold on. Uh, I gotta make some space. I, I wish I could... I, I still haven't fish fi I haven't fixed the light in my room yet, so I can't see shit. Uh which means I have to pull out my keyboard every time I need to press a button. But yeah, here we go. Now let's try making it really long and thin. So really long but like thin. I think too much like Plague Doctor when you go thin. Uh, I also think this one's a little too long. Maybe. Nah. <laughs> it's good. 
I mean, there's nothing stopping us from saying there's multiple variants of the helmet, you know? Um, I guess we could also do, like, one that has, like, multiple snouts as well. Like that instead. Uh, do the mages customize their gear? I mean, I expect everybody in the war to, like, customize their gear to a certain extent to fit their preferences. Mustache. Big mustache. And just have it curl up at the ends. Beautiful. Oh my god, we got 300 people in the chat again? Goodness. Thank you for the... F I Oh, uh, sorry, that's just Bucky McNoggins again. <laughs> I, I I saw it at the top, and I heard a sound, so I was like, oh no, did I miss it again? Uh, but still, thank you, I guess. Um, just to make up for all the money you're sending me. Uh, Hydra Slong, no. First one is definitely the best, this one. I mean, hold on, let me try and do like a happy medium between the long one and this one. And, like, do that long. <clears throat> nah, you're right. I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, this one's not even an option. I don't think the mustache is gonna be... Uh, one or two. I'm, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna have you guys vote. You know why? Because we can just have both. Like, literally... It doesn't, like, not every mage caster or, or um, healer has to look the same. They might have different masks. So we can just have both. Some of them might have long schnozzes. Some of them might have short schnozzes. Davy Jones. Yeah, Davy Jones. It basically is Davy Jones. Uh, thank you for the free euros, um, Carmine Commander. Uh, here, hold this for me. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Can, again... Hot dogs. Hot dogs a mass. Two, though? Yeah, it seems like people are more um, down with the long schnoz. Um, so we're going to go with that one for this drawing. But these might still be an option. Um, do, do we really not want to... Hold on. What about this being longer? No. I'll just have it like droop down the front. Does it make sense to have, like, basically a sewn-in, like, tie to cinch off the neck? Nah. Just that shape is fine. It's already good. Thank you for the $6.9. Strange number. Last super chat of the day for me. Okay. I, is that because that's the end of your funds? Bonky McNoggins, please. <laughs> Get some money for yourself. It's like the rest that's in my bank account is... Oh, it's 69, isn't it? I just realized that. Of course. Going out with a bang, Bonky McNoggins. 69. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sixty-nine forty-one. Bonky is bankrupt? No. I mean, seeing how much he has donated over the time he has been in the chat and just, like, supporting me, I I think he's fucking loaded. <laughs> but man's man's got, got it good. I believe. He... I mean, I hope. <laughs> it's like, if he's... I, I hope he's not running his pockets just to just to give me funds. Bankrupt, <laughs> man's bankrupt. 
Is that Opium Bird? Yes, it's Opium Bird. Hot dogs for the whole chat. Yeah, with Bonky McNoggin's uh, donations, we can we can fund one hot dog. Well, there's 300 of you. A quarter of a hot dog for each of you. Hooray! Yeah! A quarter of a hot dog, let's go! But the cheap ones that sort of taste like cardboard and newspapers. <laughs> uh, does the length of the nose affect the performance of the mask? You're asking a risky question there. Um, I, I'd say no. No. It is not the length that affects the performance of the mask. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's the spirit of the medic. It's the spirit of the medic, okay? It's his determination that matters. It's the girth? <laughs> oh no, not the girth. <laughs> Size doesn't matter. It's the way you use it. Exactly, exactly. Preach. Tell him how it is. Does not matter. Yeah. Short-nosed medics unite! The length doesn't matter! Woo! Tell your patients that. The patients are like, Nah, I, I, I don't trust you, doc. Your nose is short. Give me one of the ones with the long nose. And you're like, Trust! The nose does not matter! This is an average-sized schnoz for a medic. The motherfucker some trinkets. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll give him stuff. Uh, just wait. Uh, thank you for the what? I just had a error uh, message pop up in my head. Um, Zachary Eicher, Eicher, thank you for the two dollars. He looks so cute and chubby. Yeah, he sort of does. He looks kind of silly. He's a silly guy. Um, if he sneezes hard enough, does it inflate? <laughs> yes, yes, it has to. If you blow out hard enough, it like sort of flops a little. It's like, <laughs> the kids would love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they'd love that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it it is annoyingly simple as a design, but it works. Like that's the that's the part that bothers me. I think is because like I thought I would be doing a lot more designing, but now I like just drew that, and I'm like, yep, that's what they look like. I mean, obviously, like more equipment on them and stuff uh, would make sense. So, like, having them have a sort of um, medical pouch, like, with all their tools in it. Uh, like that. And then, like, maybe... Oh, you know what would be cool? Like, a big old chest on the back. Because I, I bet, like, a lot of their equipment would require it to not be smushed and stuff. So they just got, like, a big old box on their back. It's like a big medical crate. A trombone on the end of the nose. Just a a flared out horn. But yeah, I think a box is cool. How's the book going? This is us working on the book, pretty much. Like, 
uh, all the drawings and stuff like that are, are accumulating over time and then we'll hopefully have enough to like put into the book. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be like all just drawings that we do here, but um, it's it's definitely going to be an amount. Uh, like this one, like that one too. I like this one a lot, so it is probably going to be in the book. Uh, will they suffocate? I doubt they'd suffocate, because I'm thinking that all of this is, like, um, all of this is cloth that has, like, breathable fabric. So, like this, you know? This whole thing is breathable. Uh, so, like, this part of the mask, the, the part that's close to the, uh, the stem, uh, breathes in air the same as, as the tip. So, it's just even. What? Bonky, no? What? What happened? What happened to Bonky? I must depart, good friends. No! Bonky! God damn it. We lost a good one. Everybody, say goodbye to Bonky. Goodbye, Bonky. Thank you for your funding. Thank you for everything. Take care. Take care, Bonky. We'll miss you. Breedable? Question mark? What? what we, we're saying goodbye, what do you mean, breedable? Where did that come from? What are you saying that to? What's the context? <laughs> so long, Bonky McNoggins. So long. Ah, the silent patron parts with us once again. Though his deeds echo within the halls forevermore. Okay, big box of goodies. Um, you know what I'm thinking? The box is not like a... Uh, the box isn't like a box that you open like a chest, because then it wouldn't make sense if he has it this orientation. So it would make sense that the box would be like like this, right? Like that sort of thing. Uh... That'd be cool, with, like, all the stuff and potions, like, on little holding shelves and stuff. Thank you for the 50 knock, Lizard King. This one's, uh, this one's going out for my man Bonky. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service. You should look at 17th century beekeepers. Uh, the ones with the baskets on the front of their face... Uh, we'll have designs similar to that for beekeepers in the world already, so I'll, I'll try to avoid like using different uh, occupations because we're trying to get the uh, the medic feel across. So of course we're going to be using medical things as references. But yeah, something like this, and then like have a leg brace like here in the side, and then have like the you know the the insects in the jar or like some leeches and shit like that. And then, like, uh, a tool bag, another tool bag, maybe. You know, just, like, filled with some goodies. Um, would they keep flowers or incense with them uh, when healing? Yeah. That is actually a good idea. Uh, flowers, incense. Um, there was a... I don't know if it was a book or a paper uh, written by a person who was uh, like trying to advise how to keep your house um, devoid of miasma. And they suggest like, oh, you can buy herbs at the local market. Blah, blah, blah is cheap and useful. I forgot what herb they were referring to. Um, but, like, readily available herbs or, or fragrance.
Wait, what about whips? Whips? Why whips? Who are you whipping? Make it something like lavender? Saffron? Yeah, probably. Because that fit with Black Death? But why did they have whips? Was there a reason why they had whips? <laughs> Whip him back into shape. Hey! <laughs> That's how to cure... That's how to cure any disease. Whip him back into shape. But yeah, so normal doctors would look like this. And then we need the... Um, of course we need the... Uh, healing mage version. Because this is just a normal person. So a healing mage would look... I, I don't doubt they'd look pretty similar, uh, but just be, like, a lot larger and also deformed because of the tumors and stuff. So let's see what we can come up with with the um, healing mage. Also, I'm going to lengthen his legs. Because he's a little short. His arms got to be a little more proportional to his but the rest of his body. Okay, let's see. Um, I want... Um, Okay, what I'm picturing is, like, healing mages would have quite a few bad um, deformities. Because, okay, uh, their metamorphosis symptoms. Okay, mana. Would probably be things like uh, tumors, growths. Thank you for the five euros. Hold on. Uh, or the pounds? I think, no, no, those are pounds, yes. Thank you for the five pounds. Mega Mass Explosion. Uh, hashtag remember Bonky. Also, would it be unreasonable for them to wear an incense burner on a chain around their neck? Uh, I'd say that would, hmm. Let me see. Maybe. Would probably regularly remove any extra growths. Yeah, that that's probably how they'd keep them in check. Uh, maybe make their neck longer and put stitches on their mask to indicate they had a modify their gear because of the metamorphosis. Yes, that'd be good. Tumors would just be extra snacks. Oh my god. But yeah, also just like other defying things about them, like the... um. Well, I don't think they'd wear it over the mask. And you wouldn't see it anyway. Hmm. Like, symbols of the church might be good to have, then. Like, what would the... I guess the symbol would be the symbol of the church. So, they would be... Um, the symbol of the church is... Is this... Yeah, but, like, the arm thing doesn't really feel right. I feel like it'd be more like it should be a necklace.
Uh, what about like a tapestry hung from the side of their box? Ooh. Oh, that's good. Like cool tapestries? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. No, you know what would be even cooler? I mean, okay, tapestries, yes. But also like have some carvings in the box instead of just being like an average box. Have it be like a proper fucking like box with carvings and shit in it. Cause like, um, if we're talking about like there there was a time period where a doctor would only have one set of tools and it would be like their prized possession, you know? It's a box, but it's ornate, yes. But yeah, like the the tapestries I'm finding really interesting actually. So like having tapestries like here that also depict stuff or maybe I don't know what would they be depicting though on the apron fucking yes oh my god we're, we're improving the design exponentially every single fucking suggestion is a baller suggestion right now Oh, yeah, fucking tapestry on the fucking black uh, apron. It only gets better, folks. Yeah, like a diorama of like a... Um, like some saints or, or medics healing them or whatever. Healing like a sick patient. Oh, I'm dying. But it would have to be in like sort of a medieval-y style, you know, to make it fit. And then like some really nice ornate patterns around the sides and stuff. And then like the the, the angels. Or not the angels, like the basically representing like the healing bugs. Sort of holding up like a, a piece of... Uh, writing that just says some stuff on it. Can I eat the funny bugs? I mean, you, you could if you wanted to. But yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. And then some like on the side as well. What would, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that, like, on the tapestries could also be, like, some sort of instructions. Um, like, just in case the mage dies or something like that, where it's, like, instructions for, um, procedures so that if you happen to stumble upon the box or something, you can still use it yourself. Perhaps. Should be instructions on the box then. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like the tapestries here on the side of the box, maybe. Oh, that could be like a sort of show-off thing, though. Think about this. Think about this. Okay. The the tapestries on the side of the box are written and drawn by the medics themselves. So they are getting filled out um, with the knowledge of said medic. So he's like showing off or, or displaying how much knowledge he has over the medical field by depicting all of the things that he knows. Print out a wiki how article. Yeah, pretty much. 
Uh, what if the tapestry had diagrams of the body system? Yeah, yeah. Like, like some like breakdowns of a, of a person's body and stuff like that. Pretty much everything that they know. Um, so, okay, uh, I'm going to write down. Procedures, anatomy, maybe each medic could have a crest that's f a crest that represents what they know. Uh, why would they give out that info for free? Well, I don't think they would... I mean, I don't think they would be against sharing. This is a war situation. <laughs> I don't think in a war situation people would be much like, No! My knowledge! You don't get to learn how to save people's lives and dying children. I get to do that. <laughs> I, I feel like... Um... I, I feel like that that's not going to be a good way to win the war. <laughs> People like power. Well, I know people like power, but these are medics. Come on, at least the medics have to be sort of decent. Uh, to show off their PTSD? Ah, how would they do that to show off their PTSD? My precious. <laughs> the healing mage is gonna be have a huge tapestry. Oh yeah. Healing Mage is gonna have, like, knowledge running down all parts of their fucking body. But yeah, that's awesome, though. I love that idea of the tapestries and stuff. Uh... Oh, take care, take care. To flex, to show how long they were on the field. I mean, that doesn't... I, I, I think, like, for a medical practitioner, showing off their medical knowledge might be a bigger flex. <laughs> like, I don't think bragging on how many... Like, how scarred and fucked up you've been by the war is gonna encourage people to want to have you as a doctor. <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm fucked in the head, dude. <laughs> it's like... Yo, I don't, I don't want you as your, as my doctor. No, listen, I'm really fucked in the head. I drew it on these pieces of paper and stuck it on the side of my medical box. I, I drew how many people I saw die. <laughs> okay, okay, man. Lucky, thank you for the two dollars, by the way. Yo, is this the original look uh, for Arthur? Arthur? Who's Arthur? Uh, the tapestry might also cover, uh, what, for covering up blood and stuff from previous surgeries, magic stuff. Yeah, hmm, hold on. Yeah, because the tapestry in the front, right, that's going to get, like, dirty real bad if if there's, like, blood and shit. What do we do with that? Is it, like, a second layer so you can, like, roll it up? It seems a little... It's fine, isn't it? It's fine. Red tapestry? Oh, if it's like just embossed leather though? Like, have it be leather, and then have it be embossed leather. Like, it's just a texture thing. That'd be cool, too. So just red-tinted leather. Yeah, a 
think that can work. What is this? Farus Ram? Uh, it's Ram. These are Ram surgeons. That would be too hard to make, though. No, no, it wouldn't. You know why? Because if you have a, if you have a stamp, like just make a big metal stamp that is that tapestry's pattern out of metal, and then just fucking compress like embossed it into some leather. So you could basically just mass produce it at that point. If it's actually a painted tapestry, that'd be more of a nightmare than have it be embossed into leather. Leather takes forever to make, though? What are you- what? What do you mean leather takes forever to make, though? Cloth also takes forever to make. Could you spin him around by his nose? <laughs> uh, um... Y no? <laughs> if, if you held on to his nose, his hat would probably come off. So I, I doubt... But wouldn't the leather be used in other places? What do you mean? I don't understand what you're coming... What, 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 you're, what you're trying to get at. Wouldn't the leather be used in other places? Yes, leather is used everywhere. But that doesn't mean that they can't have leather. Why would the medics be the ones not allowed to use leather because the leather supply is low? I feel like other things would be taken out of the equation first before the medics. What if they had multiple arms, like the guy from Spirited Away, so they can work faster? Why would they? They're people. You can't have them have multiple arms. Medics are vegans, though? Oh, of course. Yeah, all of them are vegans. That makes total sense. All of them are vegans. Uh, but yeah, hold on. Uh, let's get back to the uh, metamorphosis of the healing mage. The reason I was uh, going to bring it up, because I also thought an interesting part of them would be that the bones fuse together like that disease uh, some people have. So, uh, probably not severely, but enough where I was thinking that they might have like a sort of hunched, looming posture to them. Uh, wouldn't that be fatal in some sense? I mean, yes. Yes, it would. That that doesn't deter them. Like, healing magic's gonna be worth it. Um, I don't want the, uh, the, uh, bones sticking together being, like, too harsh of a thing, though. Like, if it's literally like the disease where it happens and then they just fucking die... Um, that'd be bad, because then you wouldn't have any healing mages. So I'd say, like, tone it down a bit, but have, like, an amount of it where some healing mages might be, like, um, more stiff than others. Why is the beak so long? Because it's cool. Okay, so they have, like, tumors along their arms and stuff like that as well. So how would we deal with that? Thinking, like, more loose clothes might be better for them. Um... I mean, their hands would be really in pain as well. Why be long by lore reason? No, it's cool. <laughs> there doesn't have to be a lore reason, it's just cool. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, like, how we can make it so they wouldn't be in too much pain. Because, yeah, they have, like, tumors all over and stuff like that that they'd cut off and have, like, raw wounds, pretty much. 
so probably like looser clothes like this. And then they might need to have one hand exposed because of the uh because they'd need to use their their magic tools and stuff. Why do they have tumors? It's a side effect of using uh, healing magic. What if the um, healing mage's touch is considered sacred to a certain degree because they literally can, like, produce miracles? So, like their hands being exposed isn't seen as the same sort of negative symbol as a medic with their hands exposed would be, you know? Like a normal human medic. If it's like a... If it's a healing mage with their hands exposed, it's, it's fine. It would be a sign of respect then. Yeah. I'd say having the, the hands be exposed then. But I feel like having it... Because, like, having exposed hands with, like, raw blisters and stuff like that might not be good when you're, like, out in the field. So I'm sort of picturing that they have, like, basically mittens on. <laughs> like, like bags over their hands and obviously i don't think they would be traveling by themselves so it would be like a platoon of normal healing people and then like one healing mage that that would travel in a group and i was thinking like they'd have bag over their hands and then when they get to the to the scene and have to heal somebody they sort of like take them off and oh shit and we can have the same sort of like holy fucking tapestries on the bags like basically like, taking them off, revealing the, the... You mean gloves? No, not gloves. Like, gloves going around each of the fingers would be really uncomfortable for them, I think. So literally, bags. But, like, their their hands would be bound in these, like, bags with, like, holy symbols and shit like that, all, like, tied to them and stuff. You know, so it's like, oh, their hands are only used for the the most important of work. So not to be hurt by labor or anything like that, only for the sake of of uh, healing people. Tattoo their hands? That's just torture, man. They already got, like, blisters and shit. Like, <laughs> leave their hands alone. <laughs> they have bags over them because it hurts like shit. Yeah, also, like, I don't think tattoos would last long, as, like, if they had, like, tumors and their skin is overgrowing and stuff like that, I doubt that you'd be able to, like, easily tattoo them. Um, maybe long sleeves that they roll up. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking, like, how the sleeves would work. I'm thinking, like, just like this. And then... Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of something here. What if it's like this? And then you could basically, like, roll up the sleeve like that and then hook it onto... That's a little silly, isn't it? I mean, you could just roll up a sleeve. It's fine. So they'd be like this. 
Uh, but then also another thing would be they'd have to have the healing devices that they actually use, which are like these big discs. So they would have them like probably on their belt and stuff. Like that. And then like different sized ones to use for different scenarios. Maybe give them a cane? How would they use the cane? I mean, I, I, I doubt their hands are that fucked up. Like, they can still use a cane. Yeah, a cane would make sense. So, like, they're, basically their clothing is a lot more loose than their uh, human, normal human counterpart. D would they be carrying the the things as well? Yeah, they would. Uh, I'm, I, I was thinking, like, oh, maybe the tumors would impair them, but I feel like, I mean, they're honorable enough to, like, do that at least. Their hands are considered sacred. Their backs are fine. But, like, then we can play around with, like, the amount of tapestries these guys have is, like, staggering. It's basically just a pile of random papers coming out of their, uh, the bag on their back. Almost like a cape. Yeah, pretty much. Like that, right? Like the symbols and stuff. Oh, and you know what would be cool? If they had, like, the uh, bugs floating around with them. Or, like, on them. Uh, because I'd expect them to be... Because they're, like, have tumors and stuff like that. The bugs would help a lot if they're around them to, like, eat away the dead skin and stuff. Um, so you'd see these, like angelic shaped bugs like crawling in and out of their their clothes often like there oh i love this design man i love all of these designs uh i feel like they all have to use some kind of uh, mobility aid yeah, I'd expect a lot of them to have, like, stiff legs, perhaps, or just, like, I mean, it doesn't even have to be stiff legs, just if their bones have grown a little bit in the wrong way, it would just hurt to walk and stuff. So it, it'd be expected that they have, like, aid uh, to help them walk and stuff. Or change the cane to a war banner? I mean, uh, I... I don't think a war banner would fit the idea of them as like it would call too much attention to it like if it's too tall then it's like you're just screaming to get shot um so i i'd say something that isn't a war banner would be just just a cane is fine or a skateboard <laughs> idea leech jar yeah 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 we have leeches we have leeches um they're going to be definitely going to have leeches Okay, uh, hold on. I gotta write this down so I don't forget it. Bags over the hands. They are sacred. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. But are they ma magic leeches? Uh, I'd say it's just leeches. <laughs> drugs, give them drugs. Well, I, I, I do expect if the uh, healing mages are, like, in pain constantly, they'd definitely be, like, drugged up and stuff. I mean, hmm. Oh, the thing is, though, if you're drugged up, yeah, it makes you numb, but it also would, like, unfocus you. So I feel like they would have to tolerate it. Because, like, they can't be not focused, which means they'd have to you know, deal with the pain. Unless there's, like, a pain med that keeps you focused and is fine, but... I 
I would rather my surgeon not be high. Yeah. Drugs when they're not at work. But that's the thing. They're they're war medics. Like they could be they could be called to work at any time. Like, you know, you you finally get to chill out a little bit. Just take a take a little huff of that of of that good stuff and then Sergeant comes in. We got another sh another attack. There's like ten soldiers coming in, and you're like, "Fuck, man! I just got high as shit. <laughs> like, I just, I just, I just lit one up. I'm blazed out of my mind. Not now. <laughs> I'm gonna heal them fucking backwards. I'm gonna put a foot on their face or something, dude. Like, give me, give me half an half an hour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to try to shake it off somehow." Painkiller must work or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is like, is there a painkiller that would work in this situation? Like, do we want to give them painkillers? How about a walking frame? I <laughs> two two grandpa. I think Kane is fine. Like a picture of walking frame. <laughs> You're oh no. Yeah. Yeah, look at this fucking walking frame. Oh, the medic's coming in. <gasps> I'm your medic. First thing I'd be thinking is like, dude, I think he needs the medical attention, not me. Like, bro's about to fucking drop dead. He should be the one under the scalpel. What's going on with him? Warfare grandpa. <laughs> Are you sure he's not going to overheal me? Like, halfway through healing, he'll forget that he did and just heal me again. Drugs so they can stand the pain. Okay, uh, everybody in the chat. So, are we going drugs or no drugs? Drugs is an interesting angle to go, but no drugs also seems like an interesting angle to go. Drugs would mean that we need to figure out a drug that is a painkiller that doesn't affect your cognitive functions because otherwise, that would not be good. Uh, no drugs would be like a valiant thing. Like, there are no drugs that can numb the pain without causing uh, you to get high. So you can't take any drugs as a doctor, which makes it sort of more valiant that they're tolerating the pain. Okay, uh, seems like everybody's saying drugs. So, yep. Drugged up doctors, here we go. <laughs> they're druggies. Let's write that down. They take drugs. Uh, local anesthetic. No drugs, drugs, wait, hold on. You're, you're sending me mixed signals here. Nose full of drugs. No drugs. Soothing gels. Yeah, maybe something like that. Make up your mind. I hear drugs and no drugs. Man, they are honorable men. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. No drugs, but soothing gels. Soothing gels, yes. Any sort of band-aids or, or like wound curing stuff like that, yes. But no drugs. Make a poll? How do I make a poll? Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna put it on YouTube, alright? Uh, I'm gonna put it on YouTube community. So, you tell me there. Uh, I'll tell you when it's posted, alright? I'm gonna add some context to it, so... Um, text poll.
okay. Uh, is this a good enough description? I, I don't think this um expresses enough. I I mean it's just gonna be the people in the in the uh in the stream, so I think the context is fine. Uh, I wrote uh, the healing mages in the world are honorably willing to sacrifice their bodies to heal others. Toughing uh fighting I, I guess fighting. Uh, fighting through the pain of their metamorphoses. Do they take drugs to numb the pain or not? <laughs> drugs. No drugs. Okay, uh, I'm posting it now. There you go. It is. It is now in the community tab. So... I'm going to leave it there for like a few minutes and then we're going to come back to it. Uh, but yeah, everybody, tell me what you think. Uh, let me get a summary of the creature so far. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys uh, about the creature again so we're all on the same page and then you can... Uh, tell me if you think they should be taking drugs or not. So, uh, the healing mages um, that are uh, from Ram, they sacrifice their bodies for the sake of healing others. Manamorphosis um, that overtakes healing mages is rather painful and agonizing, right? Uh, there are tumors that grow on the body, overgrown skin. There are, um, the worst part of it, though, is the growths of the bone, uh, obviously not visible on the surface, but underneath, the bone grows painfully and pokes and prods into places it shouldn't, which means just moving for these mages is a pain. But they're willing to tough through it to fight another day to heal another man, right? Um, their hands are sacred, pretty much, considered the, the touch of... Uh, considering that the touch of a healing mage is pretty much like like magic right you're you're casting miracles to heal wounds that shouldn't be able to be healed um they're covered in like these bags that are ornate and and with runes and and religious symbols and stuff like that um and and now the question is these honorable figures um toughing through the pain to heal others should they be on drugs <laughs> Should they be druggies? Uh, oh, Lecky, thank you very much for the five dollars. Uh, the biological library is just a modified version of the uh, researchers echoed through the cafeteria of brain. The best way to store knowledge is them. What? The biological library is just a modified version of the research echoed through the cafeteria. Fateria of brain, the best way to... St I don't know what that means. Sorry. Yeah, so the thing is, if we go with the drugs, that means we have to make up a drug that's basically a painkiller um, that doesn't have any side effects, because otherwise that would be really bad if it's like a high mage. Or even if there's just a painkiller, would you want your mage that is healing you to be on drugs? Um... Or would you want to have them be literally the most honorable figures ever uh, and have them actually just go uh, raw dog the pain <laughs> pretty much and just be like, fuck it, we're tough as shit. And they just go for it. Blood honey? Uh, yeah, I, I, I would have to talk to Shabi and Sadeka about like what blood honey's effects are. Um... If it is, like, just a painkiller, then I guess we could use that. Okay, uh, let me reset the poll to see how it's going. Oh my god, it is literally 49 to 51%. Damn, 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 damn. 
That is an impressive equal, but no drugs is actually in the lead. Um, and honestly, I, I think it's, it's more of an interesting character trait to have them not be on drugs. Knowing how many people in the world are on drugs, like in the Monster Garden world, not the real world, that's a different thing. Um, having these guys not be on drugs, even though they're like going through all that shit, is interesting. You could have a kill. You know what? Honestly, yeah. We could have both. Again, same with the mask length. We could have both, where it's the case of some of these mages might be taking drugs secretly, but it's considered a sin or a sort of disrespecting the sacrifices you've made, you know? You are willing to suffer for the sake of healing the people and you don't want to feel that pain. You want to be numb. You want to not be focused and in your highest level of, of you know, focus to be able to heal people properly. Both is good. Go with that. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Why not both? You know, it's an equal equal thing. So, okay. Um, taking drugs to numb. The pain is... By the church, I guess. Uh, Lizard King, thank you for the 50 nook. What if there is a division of medics that are uh, tasked with uh, easing the pain of the medics in their off time? I mean, I, I feel like the medics would be able to do that themselves. I Like, if, if you just have a healing mage, they could just cast healing on themselves to a certain degree. Um, or have, like, the other medics that are with them that aren't healing mages do it for them. Uh, you know, so, like, I, I don't think they need a whole different quadrant to, like, do that. Healing mages to heal healers, like... Frowned upon? Uh, I don't know if I spelt that right or not. I don't really care. Uh, recently, Verus has been... Uh, been introduced hard drugs one side uses them the other don't no no I I, I think it's yeah I, I do like the idea of it being more of a complicated subject more than just a yes or no it's more of a what do they think about it you know that feels like a, a better way of of dealing with the with that that topic than just saying no none of them do it you know yeah oh i i think we should think about that more often because like i i i didn't consider that at the start but that just makes it a lot more interesting to think about both sides instead of just deciding yeah it's one or the other having it go like oh well maybe they don't but what if they do like how do they feel about that who what do they think about that Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if some if if some of you were screaming that from the start, appreciate your suggestions. Sorry, I didn't see them sooner, but I completely agree with you. Um, that that does seem to be the best way to go about it. Uh, I'm gonna delete the post so that people aren't just confused. <laughs> like people check their their updates and they're like, "What? Mages use drugs? <laughs> what what are you talking about? They don't know the context of the uh." of the stream, so it's fine. <laughs> I think my doctor's on Mars right now. Yeah, okay, I like these a lot. How much time has passed, by the way? How long have I been streaming? Hour and 46 minutes. Okay, okay. But yeah, I'm liking these. These are really nice.
just four hours to go. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's actually quite late for me, so it might not actually be that long of a stream. Uh, honestly, might like head off pretty soon, actually. Uh, just as a heads up. Not right now, but soon. Uh, it's currently, well, it's 1.40 a.m. Uh, I'm, I'm streaming past midnight. What's the Discord? Uh, it's in the About section on YouTube. Just just check the About section on YouTube. It's there. Um, why didn't I get a notification for your stream? I don't know. Are you subscribed or not? If you're not subscribed, then maybe you didn't get a notification. Everybody subscribe. Subscribe if you'd like. Yeah. Drugs, mobility aids, and long schnozzes. Yeah, so their hands would be tied in these bags. Or mittens. Pretty much. But like very large, loose mittens. Give them a top hat? Nah. Oh. <laughs> it's AM? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just have a really messy sleep schedule, so I... Um... I wake up at, like, lunch, wake up at midday, and then go to sleep at, like, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, no, no, I get a solid eight hours. It's just those eight hours are shifted a little bit into the uh, past midnight. What is the backpack? Medical supplies. The backpack's medical supplies. Uh, so also on the front of the box would be carved. Uh, do you do this full time now? Yep. Yep, I do, Simon. Oh, Simon. Hello, fellow Simon. Glad to have you in the uh, in the stream. I saw you earlier. I just didn't mention it for some reason. You were you've been in here for a while. You live in Indonesia? No, no, I live in Thailand. Thailand. Um. Does healing magic work on plants? Yeah. It would. It would work on pretty much anything that that has its own healing factor. Um, so yeah, what what should we design next? Uh, I think I'm happy with that actually. So like we can basically leave that uh, B. So let me write that healing i i just want to like design a lot of things at the moment i'm having i'm in the mood for like working on different things wedding costumes huh fire mages oh yeah that'd be cool um heading back to like the verushan side oh we could totally do one of those um smokestack people um, they have these, like, ba basically, like, fire mages or, like, combustion mages that do their thing for a really long time, basically turn into living smokestacks, where they just have, like, a billowing stack of smoke coming out of their face, and they're basically these scourges of the trenches, uh, scourge of the trench, like, just walking through them like a death machine, um, combusting everything in their sight. Like, it'd be terrifying to see that into the distance. Like, you see it, it's dark at night, or, or maybe, like, it's it's sunset, and you see this one small plume of smoke sort of move through the trenches as there's, like, flashes of light going off in the distance and 
people's screams echo and the 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 pillar of smoke sort of moves closer to your direction and as you finally get to see it it's like this head that is reaching above the level of the trenches and it's just this face in like covered with uh, i'm just gonna draw it so i was thinking it like billow out of their face to the point that they you, you like can't see their face You'd see their lower jaw, because it's coming out of their mouth, and like their nose and stuff. Like that. It's a Varus wizard? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Varus uh, are a lot more, have a lot more wizard or mages available to them, and they also like are a lot more keen to like put them into the war uh, compared to Rom as they have just a bigger supply of them. But yeah, okay. Um, what are we thinking here? Uh, if it's a fire mage, I'm thinking like their skin would obviously be like boiling and burning as well. Uh, like blisters and stuff would be quite a common thing on their body. Just like these large fluid filled blisters that occasionally pop and like fizzle into into uh, uh, gas long arms but thick forearms you mean Popeye why why would they have thick forearms their hands should be black and charred yep seems like it I'm sort of thinking like the skin like tightening up. So like looking like an amputee or basically like a frostbite thing going on. It's, but it's not frostbite. How do they see? We're going by the rule of cool with this one. I don't think it's it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, but what I'm sort of thinking of is like, would they be wearing clothes? Um, I feel like it'd mostly probably be bandages. It wouldn't really. Okay, now, listen, if I had the option to do it, I would. What I mean is, have them be naked, but I can't have them be naked, because, you know, it. I, I actually need to be able to draw that and put it on YouTube. But n what would make most sense to me would be that they're literally naked and just walking through the trench like that. Which is horrifying. Just a naked, burning man. They wear a fireproof material. I mean, why would they? They are burning from the inside out. Smoke coming out of it? Nah. <laughs> nah. No, not that. <laughs> Loincloth, chain mail underwear. Yeah, okay. Would they wear, like, fire protection and stuff? Thing is, like, yeah, I guess they would be in danger of still getting hurt of their own spells. Um, You know, because they're casting fire spells, and if it's, like, close to them, it would hurt them still. But it would also, I feel like they would be very prone to overheating. Yeah. 
you know? So like I'm I, I don't know how we should go about this. Only pants then? Well yeah, but hmm. Just a loincloth. Would they want to be naked? I mean, okay, if you're a person who's literally overheating and just you feel like you're burning from the inside out, you'd probably want to tear all your clothes off. Laser pistol. What if they do clay plate mail? Huh, clay. That's interesting, though. Play? Charred pelvis? Nah, I, I feel like that's too cruel. For some reason, that's that's my limit, is like, charred pelvis. Oh, come on, at least, at least leave him that. rest a lot on rivers and stuff. Yeah, I do expect them to, like, rest in rivers. Or, like, the... Actually, the, the clay thing is actually a good point. You know why? Because, like, I feel like they'd constantly want to get into, like, the mud. Like, they would want to get into the mud and things that's wet and cold. So they would be just covered in layers of hardened clay. Pretty much. Ceramic, yeah. They're their own... Fire, so they're hardening the clay. Why would you ever become a fire mage? Well, I don't think this is how a fire mage starts. Like, it's not like you start casting fire mages or fire spells and this is what you become immediately. This is like late stage fire mage, which is like you've cast so many of these spells, you've become the flame itself. You're eating yourself away and everything around you. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much designing to do at that point then, because it's just a naked dude with a loincloth. <laughs> Body steaming. Yeah, like those uh sweaty fucking uh bodybuilders or whatever. Like there's there's these weird occasions where like people just start steaming when they exercise too much. Um Do they still need inputs? Yeah, yeah, they would. They would still need inputs and thimbles and stuff. A water canter? Yeah, some water would really be good for these guys. So you just have some water on the side. Like big ass jugs of water. Probably be really nice for them. Blow cool air. <laughs> So the fire mage is steaming? Oh my god, insanity. Maybe they need like a keeper of some kind? Yeah, it would be, it would make sense if they need like a caretaker pretty much. Because like having them go by themselves would be basically a death sentence. Um, 
or like they did i don't think they'd last much on their own so they'd need like a yeah a keeper they couldn't wear any armor either i'm thinking about like armor if they could but like they can't they really can't what do they eat food probably uh, i'm guessing it's just they just eat normal food I don't think their diet has changed since they've become a... Maybe their diet's more ravenous, like they just eat a lot more. Burns up fast. Yeah. Oh, shit, and then the... You know what? And the fucking babysitter could be, like, all burnt up, pretty much. Like, they're just mutilated because they've been, like, around the guy for so long. It's like they've just eaten a few fire spells themselves as well. Not even getting hit by them fully, but just, you know, unlucky. So it's just a guy with like a bunch of water. And probably like healing or uh, mana potions and stuff like that. I mean, he could also be the one to tell the fire mage where the enemies are. Uh, I mean, I, the fire mage should at least see a little bit by themselves, but... Molten remains of armor welded to their skin. I mean, I don't think they'd wear armor. Or I don't think they're that hot to, like, melt metal. Um, unless it's, like, their spells that melt metal. I don't doubt they could cast spells that melt metal. But yeah, you know what? That's actually interesting. Having, like, clothing that's fused to them in certain points may be interesting. I don't know how to illustrate that, though. Uh, Alec, uh, I, I would love to say your la that, that last name, but I, I don't want to butcher it, so Alec. Um, thank you for the $5. Love the idea that they can't wear clothes with uh, buckles or metal buttons because it slowly heats up simply... Uh, being close to their skin. Yeah, I, I do think it would heat up to an uncomfortable level. I don't think it would actually, like... Well, okay, what do you guys think? Should it be, like, to the point where if they leave it too long, metal around them, it would literally get to, like, the point of, of you know, being hot red or red hot? Wouldn't they die from burning to death? Yeah, that's the issue. It's like, we, we gotta take some liberties with how much this makes sense, by the way. Because, like, this... Even just the smoke billowing out of their face is like, how are they even surviving that? How is the smoke coming out of them and stuff like that? But I think the rule of cool will will reign over all in this, in this scenario. And we could just say, you know what? It's cool. Magic. Yeah, yeah, see? Magic. They are campfire warm. Um, no, I, I'd say they give, like, an uncomfortable heat off. Like, I, I don't think anything... Like, if you were standing this close to them, you wouldn't really feel it. It's like just touching their skin would be noticeably hotter. Um, oh, and you know what? Actually, a mass of the fucking flying bugs would also fit really well. Um, no doubt that this guy has a large amount of things for them to eat. 
So like just like a swarm of those bugs around these guys. Uncomfortably hot. He is so hot. So hot. 50 degrees Celsius? Yeah. I, I think the bugs would be fine. Again, I don't think it's like too, too hot. But yeah, if if it's like a fire spell goes off in the distance or something, that might a few of them might get singed or something. Oh, you know what this also means? If there's like a bunch of the healing bugs, um, the the healer guy or this guy should need some sort of like, basically a lot of rations for them to eat, because uh, it would take nutrients from them to heal them. So. Cycle said, what if, like, all over their body? All over their body for ventilation, or at least an area that tends to heat up? Because, not because he's literally on fire. Yeah, I don't think he's, like, literally on fire. That would kill him. Is the keeper, keeper guy a healing mage? I mean, that'd be a good combo, wouldn't it? Uh, a healing mage and a fire mage. Better explain my point. Check Distort. Gave medic concept art to better explain my point. Oh, uh, I'll check it out in a bit. Hold on. Little guy next to you should have, like, a bottle that... Mahose. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Oh, you know what it would actually fit? Like, some sort of pump with a, with a, like, literally a water pump with a fucking spray hose. And then you could have, like, a, like, a, a pressurized thing. So, literally hose him down. <laughs> I'd say it's sort of a reward. Like, it would definitely encourage the Fire Mage to kill more people. Um, if every time they do, they get some relief. Uh, Metamorphosis rapidly changes the body, but uh, better mages also go more, get more adept. Um adapt to that mutation bad fire mages get burned up too fast because their bodies can't adapt fast enough and vice versa i mean no um the the metamorphosis doesn't happen that quickly uh, it takes years and years for things to like develop and stuff like that and the metamorphosis is literally their body changing so it's not like they would get burned up because their metamorphosis is changing too fast for their bodies to adapt but I guess if we're talking about, like, the frequency of casting spells in a short amount of time, um, we were talking about some stuff where it's like if you cast too many spells too often, but still in the limit where you're not dying from tar, um, your mutations would be less, let's say, less pretty uh, than if you were to take your time with casting spells. So taking your time with casting spells would mean that your body is, like, has a lot more time to actually change uh, properly and stuff like that, and uh, at a at a longer, slower rate. Uh, but if you're constantly casting fire spells, then yeah, maybe you turn really ugly really quickly. So actually, yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, that would be right. That I guess they burn up fast. Um,
Hey there, smooth skin. Uh, if I remember correctly, overusing mana can harm you. Well, yeah, because it makes a buildup of tar, and uh, eventually that can kill you. Um, if so, could there be something like a, a mage that forces other magic to use a lot of magic quickly and harm them that way? No, that doesn't make sense. Um, I mean, you couldn't force somebody to use mana. You can take mana out of somebody. Um, which would just take it out of them. It wouldn't be used up in the process, which means it wouldn't affect the person you're taking it out of. Um, like, it wouldn't cause a buildup of tar because they're not using the mana to cast spells themselves. You are just stealing the mana from them, right? So, I mean, you could put mana into somebody to have them reach the, or exceed the limit of mana, uh, mana saturation and just fucking explode, but that's a lot more tedious than just shooting them. Uh, if you can take mana away, uh, could you force mana in them? Dan uh, would that be dangerous at all? Oh, I just answered that. Yes, you could for force mana into them, get, get them to reach the limit, and basically explode. Um... What if he secretes the consumable tar stuff? Doesn't make sense. It needs to go through like a lot of processes to be the consumable kind uh, of tar. I mean, he'd still produce tar normally like every other mage. I doubt it would like secrete out of his body for no reason. Um, under the smoke? Yeah, I was thinking like the eyes would be visible, but that's sort of like a... Also, I mean, I, I think he'd still have hair, patches of it at least. He just has stink lines coming from him. This isn't even... Hold on, I, I want some um, wind blowing so we can actually... There you go. Is he still sane? I doubt. I doubt he's still sane at this point. Uh, and... I mean, like, the... I, I really need to illustrate how horrifying spells can be uh, when used, because it, it would really put into perspective why people put themselves through this stuff to become mages in the first place, because I've sort of just been focusing on showing the bad side of it, right, and not the benefits of casting spells, which is why these guys are willing to do this. Um... Because you could wipe out, like, a, a whole platoon with one spell if you wanted to. You know, one cast of the spell, blow up half a fucking trench line, uh, and just, you know, delete them, pretty much. Like, I, 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 I want to make sure that it is, it is clear that the power that comes with magic is, for these people that are absolutely nuts, well worth <laughs> these sacrifices to their body and sanity and whatever they are needing to make. Are there any female mages? No, I don't really think in the world it would make sense for there to be female mages. Um, I, I don't think any... Uh, or, or like the church and stuff like that would want that to be the case. He looks like Hades. I, I Is there a specific illustration of Hades you're talking about? Don't remember Hades being a... Uh, no girls allowed. Yeah. Yeah, no girls. Uh, is there an, a specific version of Hades that looks like a guy with a burning head? Or...
So yeah, there you go. That's fun. We got an idea for the uh, combustion mage as well. Oh, also, I guess they're, um, I mean, would they be using thimbles? What would be the most effective shape for them to use for spell? I, oh, I guess, I mean, we could make them a sort of flamethrower, pretty much. Like, some sort of staff like this. That's just, a like, a jet engine nozzle, pretty much. And just have them pack it full of gunpowder or, like, propellant. Uh, and then it would just cast the, like, just basically just burn the thing, like, like, rocket fuel. Nozzle-like thimble. No, something larger would be good that isn't just a thimble. Is it slow over time? Yeah, it's really slow over time. There's not, like, a noticeable change every time you cast a spell. Yeah, I mean, this would be, like, a very narrow flame, wouldn't it? Actually, like, something that's more like a cone... Yeah, I feel like, because cause I feel like um, fire mages would focus on area more than precision. Like, contrasting the uh, acceleration mages that are very pinpoint and sniper-like, these guys are just like, the more area I can cover, the better. So actually having staves that are like this, like a bell, or something like this, that's just a very wide fan might be the way to go, so they can just blanket a whole area. How old would this one be? Um... I'd say like a solid, perhaps like a 70 or maybe 80 years old. Maybe reaching like 90 or 100 actually, if I'm thinking about it. Because like the war has made it so people uh, or, or mages like get mutated or go through metamorphosis faster because of just how consistently and constant they cast spells. Um, do we just live longer? Yes. They live a lot longer. What kind of staff do I want this guy to have? I mean, some of these. You know what? I... I, uh, I think it'd be enough for the stream. I'm happy with the progress we made. We figured out that is like a cool ass design for a healing mage, 
and pretty much the gist of a fire mage as well, combustion mage. So I think that's good. That's good. That's enough. Uh, I gotta sleep. <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Chinese fire lance? Maybe. I'll look into it. I, I know what they look like. The Just the long stick with gun at the end. Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, take care, guys. Check Discord. I, I will. I will.